I wanted to demo uh, my Pigtronics Philosopher Tone today. Uh, this is a really great compressor. It was uh, one of the first pedals that I actually bought. Um, and what originally the reason I bought it was because I was looking for ways to get more sustain at lower volumes. Um, and this compressor can definitely do that and it's, it's really good at transparent compression. Um, but the more I started using it, the more I liked having the thing on. Um, and it can do a lot. It's got a, a fairly wide um, feature set for a compression pedal. Um, and it's just become something that I've liked using more and more. Um, so working our way through the knobs, we have a volume knob. Basic volume can give you quite a bit of boost um, if you need it. There's a treble control which controls um, the treble content in the compression part of the pedal uh, it doesn't affect the dry signal going through your pedal which you can control with the blend knob this is a really important feature for me um, compression by its nature it lessens your dynamics um, it brings down the transient of your guitar signal um, and gives you the ability to boost the low end um, more like the quiet signal um, and compress the, the louder part of your signal. Um, so if you still want to uh, keep some of the dynamics of your playing, this blend knob uh, is really useful because it lets you blend your dry signal with your um, compressed signal. The sustain knob that's pretty typical on a compression pedal, the more you turn that up, the more compression you're going to get. Um, and then a grit knob, this is really unique to this pedal. Um, it gives you a really nice squishy overdrive um, that you can mix in um, and what's neat kind of like a clon pedal you can turn the grid up and then use the blend knob to control uh, how much gain or you can just use the the grit knob by itself um, so it has a lot in this little pedal um, so let's work our way through the pedal now I am playing my Washburn BT2 into my crate Palomino amp here's the clean tone <laughs> Here's the Philosopher's Stone. Um, so that's just a basic um, transparent compression that I set it up with uh, first. Um, and we can work our way through the knobs. Um, I'm going to turn the blend up all the way, keep the treble kind of neutral, and work my way through the sustain knob so you can see the range of that. And this, adult, this pedal adds a lot of sustain even at the lowest setting, and I'll show you that too.
So that was just even at the lowest sustained setting. Sustained setting. Let's keep working our way up. pedal's getting pretty squishy at this point. Um, I'm going to keep working my way all the way up to maximum sustain. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to back off on the blend knob so you can um, hear some of my natural playing dynamics still come through in the pedal. <laughs> That blend knob is a really nice feature, like I said, so you can um, still have your natural playing dynamics with the pedal. Um, let's back off on the sustain a little bit, keep the blend all the way up, and now show you how much treble boost this really has.
so that's the range of the treble knob another really super useful feature to have on a, a pedal like this um, because the compression kind of sucks some of your treble tone out of the mix so um, it's really nice to have that wide range um, I'm going to show you now the grit knob which is a really squishy uh, overdrive that this pedal adds um, which is I think unique to this unit I've never heard of another overdrive that has it um, so yeah we'll just work our way up uh, I'll fiddle with the the volume knob as needed but try to keep it as uh, loud as possible <laughs> So that's the uh, grit knob with full blend and one kind of cool thing you can do um, is you can turn the blend back if you don't want so much of that tone in your face and then it kind of sounds like you're playing a, a clean and a dirty uh, guitar at the same time which is kind of a cool feature because um, that's a really in your face fuzzy tone um, that maybe you can you can use this blend knob to, to lessen the uh, harshness of it a bit. Now I want to show you uh, two ways that I like to use this pedal. Um, this first way is kind of just to add, it's really hard to describe, but just to add a little bit of color, a little bit of uh, clean sustain to your tone, um, but really to keep your natural tone and your playing dynamics mostly intact. Um, and uh, this pedal does a really good job at this. So I have this um, Royal uh, Runoff Groove, Runoff Groove Super Duh that I uh, built a while back, and it's a really touch dynamic um, pedal, um, and I can keep not all of it, but a good amount of the touch dynamics uh, intact with this philosopher's tone, and just get a, an incredible amount of sustain um, with very little color to my tone. But the color that it adds, I really like, um, so it's not like a negative effect at all. Um, so I have the super set up, just breaking up uh, a little bit. Um, and then I have the Philosopher's Tone set up with the blend a little bit past halfway, sustain, sustain pretty far up, grit all the way down, and, and volume's pretty much right at, um, at unity gain. Um, but a little bit higher than it because it's a compression pedal, so it's going to compress some of your sound. So. Um, but here, give a, a listen to what that sounds like.
So that's one way I really like to use the pedal, like I said, just to color the tone a little bit, but in a really nice way. Um, and you can almost keep this pedal always on. Um, hopefully you heard that um, not all, but a good amount of my picking dynamics were... Uh, this pedal let me still use my picking dynamics pretty much. Uh, were retained, that was the word I was looking for. Um, so it it does it does compress your signal and that's something you have to keep in mind but uh, you can still keep your those picking dynamics in, in, intact um the last thing i want to show you is another way you can really use this uh for a solo and with a little bit of the grit mixed in just to boost um your guitar signal immensely um which is really cool so i'm going to keep a similar setting on the actually the same setting on the supro um, and then just really boost the signal with this compressor uh, and you get a really cool tone if you want to kick it on for a solo or something and just get an immense amount of sustain so here we go with that <laughs> Um, so with the Philosopher's Tone in front of a dirt pedal, uh, you can do a couple things with it. Um, like I said, it, it can be very transparent if you want it to be, or it can, you can mix in more compression, more volume, and kind of let it boost your signal um, and do that with it. Another thing that you can do, um, I have the compression set up before the overdrive. If you set the compression up after the overdrive, you can still ride your volume knob with the overdrive and clean up those tones, but the compressor will keep your guitar's volume intact. It won't drop your volume when you turn down the volume knob on your guitar. So that's just another way you can use it. This thing has a ton of um, options, and it's it's really a, a great utility pedal. Um, it's not something that you, you kick on and someone's going to be like, wow, what's that tone? Um, but when you start playing with it and you start realizing... Uh, what it is adding, it's definitely noticeable when it's off. Um, definitely check out this pedal. It's a really cool compressor. Uh, very versatile. Um, and I, I think the thing's great. It's, it's not going to come off my board anytime soon. So, thanks for listening.